Tonight, breaking news, this hard partying 20-year-old who proudly tweeted, too drunk to care, just hours before killing two beautiful young women in a high-speed wrong-way car crash. She's finally arrested, finally forced to face a judge and the victim's families. But you will not believe her excuse for her behavior. You caused or contributed to the death of another human being. We both as families want to see her go and walk, get put away. I wanted her to see us. I wanted her to see our faces. Look at this. That is suspect Kayla Mendoza hiding her face under a blanket as she's wheeled past the family members of the two young women she killed. Is she too cowardly to face the families whose lives she destroyed? Cops had to wheel her into jail because she still can't walk after suffering two broken legs and a brain injury from the accident that she caused. Cops say the 20-year-old self-proclaimed on Twitter as a, quote, pot princess, was allegedly drinking with co-workers at a Florida bar five months ago. After one of the morning, cops say Kayla hopped into her car and went speeding the wrong way down the freeway at more than 80 miles an hour. She collided head on with another car, killing these two beautiful young women, Marissa Catronio and Caitlin Ferrante, both just 21. Even more outrageous, Kayla infamously tweeted less than three hours before that deadly crash, quote, too drunk to care. Well, I wonder if this defendant cares now, now that she's allegedly killed two people, now that she's landed herself in jail with a brain injury and broken legs. Kayla had a blood alcohol content of 0.15, almost twice the legal limit, plus traces of pot, marijuana in her system. It took five months to arrest her, but now she's charged with two counts of DUI manslaughter, two counts of vehicular homicide, and two counts of driving without a license causing death being held on $600,000 bond. We have a fantastic Lion's Den debate panel. But first, I want to go out to my very special guest, the father of one of the victims, Gary Catronio. Sir, I am so sorry for your loss. This woman accused of killing your daughter and her best friend, I have to tell you now, uh, and, and this is disturbing, she's yep. now claiming that she was slipped something and that, oh, it wasn't her fault that she was drunk. Does that infuriate you? Um, that doesn't make me, uh, doesn't make me happy. Okay. I mean, the facts are the facts. The blood alcohol level was almost two times. She had traces of marijuana in her. Um, it, 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 it's devastating for anybody to even make a comment like that with all the research and investigation that went into this to make this arrest that we're so grateful that finally happened. It took five months though, Gary, did that upset you and the other family that that it took so long for even the first step of justice. The reason the reason it didn't upset me is because I knew right out of the get-go is that this would be a long haul. Actually, I thought it was a shorter time than they anticipated, but I knew that the hours to get everything correct was going to be worth the while on the end result, and and it was it was worth the while on the end result here. Uh, there's over 900 pages of reports that were put together to, to make this arrest. Well, I, I certainly hope you get justice, Gary. Uh, if you could stand by for a second. Kayla was only 20 years old at the time of this accident, way too young to be drinking legally in a bar. But she wasn't hiding her partying. Check out some of her Twitter feed. This is unbelievable. Too high to care, okay? Uh, then she wrote, uh, my car permanently smells like weed. She also wrote, I have a test at 8 a.m. Why am I drunk right now? And we have just obtained this brand new vine uh, that was taken in the months leading up to this horrific crash where uh, this young woman is drinking and uh, she's sort of bragging about all the beer she's drinking. I mean, clearly, Wendy Walsh, this, this young woman has a substance abuse problem. Where are her parents? The judge said it appears she never even had ever obtained a driver's license. You know, that really is the question, where are her parents? Because my suspicion, Jane, is that those parents weren't around for a long time, and that's one of the reasons why she had this drinking problem. Binge drinking is a big problem, Jane, especially with young women in our culture right now. It's a dangerous, dangerous thing, and now you can understand why. My heart goes out to the family of these victims. Joe but Gomez. But here is this young girl whose life is also wasted.